Hello everyone, my name is Roger Shramkowski and I am a solutions engineer here at SnapLogic. Today we're going to talk about how to install a Groundplex, which is a uh, Java execution layer for the SnapLogic environment. And we're going to talk about how to install this in a Windows server. This server is running in Microsoft Azure. It could be running anywhere else that you're able to run it and connect to your on-premise data. And what we're going to start with is we're going to talk about the fact that with our November 2019 release. It was actually a patch a little before that, but with that release we are officially supporting the Java 11 and OpenJDK. So what I have here in front of us sitting in this notepad link that I'm trying to highlight all of is this is our link that we have in our documentation on where you can go and download a 64-bit version of OpenJDK 11. Once downloaded it's going to be a bin folder which you can extract. It'll look like this here. When we open this, we're going to see there was a Java version in here. I have since moved it into COPT. I did create the OPT directory already. This is where we generally recommend or suggest installing SnapLogic for a Windows environment, but it is customizable. So this is where we have that installed. Now if I go back to my downloads folder, I have also downloaded the SnapLogic installer zip file, and I have fetched that from inside of my shared folder. Yours might be up in a different location. And then we click on Snaplex is in the background here. Then we would click on the name of the Snaplex. And then we would go to the Downloads tab. And from here you can click the down arrow into the tray to download the zip file. You can also copy the link and plug it straight into a, a browser uh, or a PowerShell script on the Windows server itself to download the file. And then the other thing we're going to need while we're here is actually the configuration file. And if I minimize my dashboard again, we will see that I already have the configuration file here. So where I've left off is that we have Java moved over into our OPT folder, but I have not yet moved over the SnapLogic installer. So I have already unpacked this. So I just unclick, just click here, and then we just drag this over as well. Now once this is here, we are going to click in here click into the ETC folder and in this location we drag over that configuration file. I want to make sure everybody understands that we should not be renaming the configuration file in any way. The name is important for it to understand what Groundplex or which Snaplex inside of SnapLogic the node should connect to. Once these two steps are done we will come into the bin folder and we need to edit this jcc.bat, but we need to do it with an administrative notepad. So let me go ahead and open notepad as an administrator. And then we will open that file. Okay, and once we have come down to the bin folder, you're going to notice that we're only set to look for text documents. We need to change this to all files quick. And then let's open this JCC folder, or file rather. So after we get to the end of all the REM, the REM statements, the comments, we see set Java home. So I have mine as COPT Java. And then you'll also notice this line down here, right here, sorry, which will combine slash bin slash java.exe. So my path needs a little bit of adjustment. So let me come back here and come in here. So here's my bin folder. So if I copy this path or just the, the version and I insert that right here, now we will be able to access the JRE, the JDK, and run Java. And no other changes need to be made here, so I'm going to save this and close it. And then our next step would be to open an administrative CMD window. We will navigate to that location. Okay. And then we are going to do a jcc.bat install underscore service. Now what that just did for us is it set SnapLogic up to run as a service. So if we open the services control panel, and we look for SnapLogic, SnapPlex will be the name, 
it will be an automatic that's not yet started and it will run as a local system account. Now before I start that, let me come back into SnapLogic real quick and I'll just show you from a dashboard perspective, this is the node, this is the uh, cluster, the uh, SnapLex where we expect this node to appear. So now let's go ahead and start the service. And then we will wait for a moment while the node comes online. And here we can see that our node has now checked in. And that's all for this video. I do appreciate your time and watching the video. Thank you.